So hi, it's me, Tree. We're doing this again because my camera battery went on me, so I'm doing it with my phone. So quality, me. Um, it looks like I'm gonna do Vlogmas, maybe. If nothing else, I wanted to do a um, one of those things where thing I had to have the thing I had the word earlier. Um, a debrief on Nano. I may have not done as much recording as I should have had this month and not edited video, so we're gonna insert probably half a month of stuff here. Here. <sighs> Hi. Welcome to Music Town. Yeah, the rest of that statement is inappropriate, so insert inappropriate joke here, which I'm 12 and that actually is a worse pun. So yeah. Hi, it's me, Tree, your friendly neighborhood squid, professional anxious person, and public universal friend. I feel like there should be a tink noise here. So I feel like I should show you what you're actually sitting on right now. So we're gonna do we're gonna do a funny. Because I am a bad vlogger person and I have a tendency to shoot things on my phone. But you're sitting on two sketchbooks, my iPad, my laptop, and my friend Lane's copy of Good Omens, which I need to return to her because I bought an e-copy. Somewhere around my domicile, there is a physical copy that is mine, but as happens, my house ate it, so it happens. I also feel like I should show you just like the chaos that exists right beneath you. So we're gonna do that again because it's fun. But yes, this is what's going on right below you right now and next to you and next to me. It's a morph. He's sleepy and very mad. He has stolen my blanket. I thought I'd vlog today because it is Nano, NaNoWriMo National Novel Writing Month day, ooh, what day is today? Seven, day seven. <sighs> I knew it was the sixth or the seventh, I just couldn't remember which. I know it's Thursday, how's that? Um, but yes, it's uh, NaNoWriMo Day 7. Uh, yesterday I hit 15,000 words, 15,007 words. So I am ahead by a lot, but I, I may mean to just like do 2,000 words a day for like until I hit 50,000. And hopefully that'll work. I'm really enjoying what I'm writing right now. Unfortunately, 15,000 words in, um, except for like a little. A couple like bits and bobs of other scenes I'm still you know introducing characters to the world which is kind of fun because it all involves like chases and horror and things like that so you know I, you need time to to increase your dread in <laughs> dread I'm wearing my dread shirt uh, when you're, you're when you're doing the thing it's coming along and it's probably the easiest time I've had writing a nano since uh, I took a first whack at a glittering venery. So, hey, yo, me. Yes, super villain. Such a bean. I just turned myself into a loaf on your shoulder, human. That is all. These are the things I contend with. I'm a fan of it.
and play with him now? All right, 13 misses, yeah, 22 hits. Okay. We've got six, six, Ori, so he's going to fire at Ira. Mm -hmm. Seven. No. Uh, the other two are going to uh, shoot at Ent. Why? I'm just a mushroom. For a 16 and a 13. Personally, I like to keep a whole bag of like grocery store ice in my freezer at all times because you're never going to have enough ice at the ready as you do if you just have a stash of bagged ice. I mean, it's not a lot, I don't think. I don't remember off the top of my head. But yes, I went to debrief Hanno because I succeeded in the thing. I finished at like 53,584-ish words. And then at, that was a snow truck, I think. And then about one o'clock this morning, I decided to write a thousand more because I had part of the thing in my head that went, ah, I must come out. Um, my novel is not remotely done. It's maybe a third done if I'm real lucky. But I, and it, w and it was a job of work because they were completely new characters that I haven't dealt with before. And a new part of the world building that I hadn't encountered before. So now there's like this, you know, another hole in my my world building that's being patched up and filled in so yay uh for those of you who don't remember it was called the working and it was basically a magic school story after a fashion it's <laughs> i actually take so, so, some some pokes at like harry potter and the magicians and even the worst witch um just because I find the idea of there is a prescribed way to perform magic problematic because magic in a historical sense is very is very dependent upon cultural contexts and personal semiotics. It's one of the nice things that came out of like 
Jim Butcher's Dresden Files series is that the, there is an acknowledgement that casting and performing magic is an intensely personalized thing. So there's that. And so I, I, I had to play with that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, I don't know. I had this because I lost like 10 minutes of me talking about like world building and that I'm basically JRRing, that was a lot of extra R's, Martining this entire thing because I'm never going to be done because world building and and talking about how editing is important that no creative endeavor exists without editing which is true it doesn't matter if you're an artist a musician it's like engineers mathematicians we all everybody goes through editing editing is important which is boiling a lot of that down to one thing is editing is important um and the scientific method <laughs> i remember that i had an entire thing about the scientific scientific method being important too there was something else in there that was important there were three things that were important and two of them were editing and the scientific method so this is going real well this is what happens when you don't um write scripts before you film things which i should i guess but i'm i'm not a quality youtuber I am, however, wearing my 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 very my very 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 old Harry Potter hat that I got. I think I got when Order of the Phoenix came out. I was living in Carbondale, Carbondale at the time, so it was a long time ago. I'm pretty sure it was Order of the Phoenix. And my Camilla Chu mystical magical bits and bobs T-shirt because on brand when you're writing witch stuff or something. I can, however, remember that I showed you my, my basket of snoots. Well, those are, those are butts, not snoots. Basket of snoots. Basket of snoots. So, now you have seen my basket of snoots. If nothing else, may, maybe that will have made the video worthwhile. And I may yet remember what the other thing I w was saying was important is, oh, practice, that's what it was. I had this in, I was talking about um, how I'm going to do, I'm thinking about doing Nana Read More for December, which is National Reading Month, which is something somebody came up with, which is exactly how NaNoWriMo happened. Somebody came up with it and then it took over things. Uh, but you basically read throughout November, which anybody who is a writer or a creative or anything, it's like, and I hate the word consuming, but the, the input that uh, you gain from looking at other people's work, uh, or reading other people's uh, books, re uh, listening to other people's music, is very important for your creative and development, and it's very important for recharging your creative energies. Um, it's also one of those things that you can, <laughs> it's like reading a book, you learn things about pacing, like what you like about pacing and character development and foreshadowing and structure and yada yada, even paratext you learn from reading. It's like, yes, you can go to school and you can learn this all in an academic sense, but until you practice and until you uh, input, that is a really big truck, input that kind of material into yourself, it, you're, 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 you're going to be lacking something. Um, same with art. It's like going to art school. It's like you learn perspective and color theory and shading and all these technical skills. And you can be really good, really proficient in technical skills, but until you practice, you don't develop, develop your voice. And if you're a really technically proficient person, your technically your technical proficiency increases. That was a good sentence. I'm a writer, <laughs> but yes, practicing is important. The three three most important things are practice, editing, and the scientific method. See, I remembered. I, I have hit all the high points I wanted to in re-recording this video because my battery died. Also, December came in 
I hate to say like it came in like a wrecking ball and committed to sparkle motion. So we have snow apocalypse going on. It's good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna do other things besides editing. Um, I, I'm very excited. I get to to art with um, Breathless Abandon again. It's like Nan writing like so like in a set period of time requires so much time that I kind of yeet my I practice into the void when I'm nanoing, so it's like I'm lucky if I get one thing drawn a day, or one thing even sort of made a day. It's like I completely did not do my comic last week because it was, it was a week. I'm gonna go, do good, be kind, be brave, boop a snoot, encourage. Do 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 do